What's good boys, wanna show the 3-3 double loop blitz and show if it is patched or not and talk a little bit about the new meta blitzes that you're going to see. So a little update video uh, for Madden today, kind of based off the latest patch notes. We're gonna jump into practice mode and kind of test this real quick um, and just see how does the uh, blitzing concepts work post patch for a couple of the meta blitzes in the game. Now, if you wanna get my entire defensive ebook library where we have over 25 offensive and defensive ebooks and we will be updating all of those ebooks as needed from patch to patch, make sure that you're a Patreon member. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member. And then, like I said, it gets you access to everything. 10 bucks gets you access to everything over there. So if you wanna sign up, the link is down in the description. All right, three, three, double loop. Let's go with the setup here, LB blitz zero. We're gonna spread our defense, globally blitz our linebackers, globally blitz Let's our, crash our line down, QB contain, and we are going to run these dudes off of the edge so that they are contained. As you notice here, it's kind of actually, the placement is super difficult, which is going to be a problem um, because you have to be able to place these guys relatively quickly um, or you're going to get quick snap. But let's see if the pressure comes in. Oh, and as you can see, um, it kind of blocked it. Actually, it did pretty decent um, at blocking the loop blitz. Let's show it one more time. So again, we're going to spread our linebackers, spread our defensive line. We're going to crash our line down, globally blitz our linebackers, keep it contained. I'm going to walk this guy off of the edge and try to get him on the contain if the game will let me. Let's see. And see how it's a lot harder to get this guy on a contain. I think that's really interesting. And then also we're just going to stand right here. And you see we did get looped through the B-gap, but it is significantly less effective. It's not as good as it was. Um, let's try something else. This was the loop blitz before. Uh, just kind of show you a couple different variations of it uh, and see. Okay, that block's fairly good. Five on five is not a big deal. If you can block with your running back, that's not a big problem. Um, and then also we'll try, uh, try spreading with no contains and just show you a couple different variations of pressure. And as you can see, the loop pressure there is still good, but it's not as good as it used to be. So a couple things with that. Uh, let's go down to 3-3 Cub and check that blitz real quick. Uh, I think this is personally going to be the meta right here as you see super clean pressure off of the edge every single time. Uh, I get a full ebook on this. We're actually going to be updating it uh, this week, so make sure you're in the, in the Patreon for that. Uh, let's test it if you contain. So let's see how it works if you contain. And you see here the outside linebackers are on contains. And as you can see, they're going to scream in off of the edge. Now what I want to show you is a couple of pass protection pickups and just test the pass pro pickups. One of the pass pro pickups here is to just block your running back. And what you'll see when I block my running back is he still loops around. So this is now the new best blitz in Madden. It's the best blitz in the game uh, by far, I think, because um, because they just loop around like that. Um, super, super simple setup here. Literally just contain. And this guy oftentimes will loop around the running back, you know, a lot of times. So interesting that that is still uh, still effective. Let's test a couple other blitzes real quick. Let's test dollars, see if that works really good. And then we'll test uh, nickel over as well. So dollar, DB Fire 2. There's really two renditions of this blitz. There's the baseline press version, and then there is the loop version. So you're going to see here, dollar actually looks like it just got a little better, uh, to be honest. Um, because they held the ends, the ends really, really well. Um, so if I block my running back, I slide my line to the right, you're going to notice here that we're still able to get double edge pressure. So Dollar is coming back onto the stage. His Des just won the ultimate uh, Madden Bowl with it. And as you can see here, we're still really good. Let's test the contain variation of this. So we're going to contain these slot corners and slide them in off the edges. You see, we can actually do that much more seamless than 3-3. Three, three. And pressure-wise, though, it's not as good as you can see right there. So that's good to know. All right, so that is a couple of the different meta defenses. And now we're going to jump into nickel over. My personal, I think, could be the best defense as well, um, just because it's super heavy pressure. It, it provides super heavy pressure with really minimal adjustments. So over Storm Brave, we're just going to pinch our defense. We're going to come down here with our user. And let's see how the pressure works. As you see here, we get double edge pressure, super fast pressure. Great. Now, typically what happens with these contains, and I think one of the efforts they made to uh, basically fix them is the question is, you know, how do we want to crash our line? I think that's one of the questions against a blocked running back, as you see right here. Blocked running back does pick this up. So that's good to know. I didn't do anything. I just blocked the running back. Um, and as you can see, it was able to pick this up. So now we're going to try to contain off of the edge and just see how that plays and we're going to see here that it loops through the B-gaps. That's actually interesting. Um, there's all these little things that changes patch to patch. Coverages change. The better coverages change. Um, the way coverage plays, the way coverage actually does stuff uh, changes. All that stuff matters. Uh, but as you can see, by and large, the blocked running back is able to handle a lot of what nickel over brings to the table. 
Uh, I do think there's uh, there's got to be ways around it. I'm not sure what those are right now. We're going to have to get in the lab and work on it a little bit. This little slip right here is actually really problematic to me uh, with the crash line down feature. So we'll see here. You see they're able to get the clean pressure off nickel over even the block of running back. Now I'm going to jump into U-Trips and going to test a couple more things for you guys live here. If you guys, like I said, if you want to get access to all of our ebooks, make sure you become a Patreon member. That link is in the description. We'll be updating that as we need to. Uh, but here's here's uh, U trips. Just want to see how this does against Nickel Over if they block a tight end. We should get pressure. We don't get pressure. As you see, a gap pressure, um, but it doesn't completely come in. So that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see here. Let's try it one more time. Should come in like, yeah, there you see it. Okay, so you see how it's kind of loop, kind of screaming through the A gap. And this is something that I think you're going to see a little bit. Is I think you're going to see some of these like nickel over style of blitzes uh, start to come back because the pressure's so good. And you see, see how, see how Clowney's coming through the A gap. Isn't that crazy? Um, he's not completely screaming, but he is coming through the A gap. Uh, and then we'll test the, the blocked running back and the blocked tight end just for fun. And we see, okay, they're blocking the tight end. So we turn in here. You see the Max Pro. Can't block nickel over. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. Nickel over, probably the most dominant blitz um, at this point because of the fact that it's super hard to pick it up. And if you turn with your user the right way, um, you're going to be able to create some really good pressure. So I think nickel over is going to be really, really, really good. One other thing I want to show is what happens when I move this linebacker out, put him on the contain, and we'll just show that real quick. And then I'll show you one other thing with 3-3 three, three cub. And you see we get really clean loop pressure out of that. All right. We'll show you through the cub, and then we will uh, we will uh, get back in the lab and testing some things as well. So 3-3 three, three cup against a block tight end is something I did want to test. So this is a block tight end over here on the right. I'm going to just send five and just test it um, against the block tight end. And what you see is he we still get that instant win because he has the double or nothing ability, but he does block him. Uh, so that's good to know because if you contain – um, like let's say you contain this defense and they block their tight end, you see here they're able to pick this up. Now we're getting good sheds because 3 3 Cup provides really, really good sheds, but they are able to pick up kind of the core uh, foundational element of the blitz. So some things to kind of uh, just think about and, and point out here as you see though, pretty pretty awesome pressure from 3 3 Cub in my opinion. 3 3 Cub, Nickel Over, the two top defenses I think as well as Dollar of course. Um, baseline dollar is really good right now. Uh, so those are some updates in terms of what's changed in the patch. The 3-3 three, three loop, to me, not, not as effective as it previously was. So if you want to get access to all of our stuff, make sure you get in the Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything over there.